Hi, I'm Sandy, and meal planning for me isn't about spending all weekend cooking and planning my meals. It's about finding at least two recipes with overlapping ingredients and a little extra time in my one recipe so I can get a head start on at least one of my dinners. When it's warm out, I love to give my oven a break and make really simple dinners. Not every meal during the week needs to be elaborate, especially when you're running around and keeping busy. So once a week, we try to do simple outdoor dinners where it's maybe cheese and crackers, fruit, and a really simple pasta salad and just go outside and enjoy the weather. So tonight I'm gonna to be making a mac and cheese with broccoli, then I'm gonna save some plain pasta and my broccoli and make an Italian pasta salad tomorrow night. I'm gonna make a shortcut mac and cheese, but I'm gonna make it a little special with the addition of the Kansas City barbecue rub. It's gonna be so good and perfect for a weeknight meal. So I have my pot of salted water boiling right now, so I'm ready to add in my shells. So while my pasta cooks, I'm gonna saute some broccoli. I'm just gonna season these really simple with some olive oil and some salt. That way when I use it in the pasta salad tomorrow and add some pesto, there won't be any overwhelming flavors from the broccoli. Now by sauteing the broccoli instead of steaming it, it's gonna hold up really well for the pasta salad tomorrow. Steaming might make it a little bit mushy and we don't want that in the pasta salad. Okay, so my pasta is ready and drained and my broccoli is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this plain pasta for tomorrow and just save some of the broccoli right in the same container since it's all gonna go in the same place. Okay, and then to my pasta, I'm just gonna add some Greek yogurt and some sharp cheddar cheese. Cook that over low heat until it's all thickened and incorporated. You could really do any type of cheese, but I like the sharp cheddar together with the Greek yogurt, the tanginess of the Greek yogurt with the sharpness of that cheese. Now adding the Greek yogurt and the cheddar cheese allows you to cut back on the amount of cheese. And I got no butter, no cream. This is really simple. And I promise it tastes really good. And I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe a couple teaspoons of the Kansas City barbecue rub. Let me say, not only does this taste so good together, it's like the combination of the tomato and molasses and spices, it's kind of sweet and spicy, paired with the creamy richness of the mac and cheese is so good. But also, the color of this Kansas City barbecue rub really deepens the orange color of the mac and cheese. It just works. This smells amazing. No one has to know it's a shortcut mac and cheese. <laughs> all right, that's looking good. I'll just add my broccoli and stir it all together. So my pasta and broccoli have cooled to room temperature, ready to go ahead and store in the fridge. These will last together three to five days in the refrigerator, and you can even freeze your pasta and for about six to eight months, and you could use it in like a cheesy pasta bake or even in soups. Dinner is served, plus I have a head start on tomorrow's meal. Okay, so today I'm making my easy summer dinner with my pasta salad, I got some crackers and fruit ready to set up with it. So my pasta and my broccoli already saved. I'm just gonna dump that into my cool and serve bowl. And I got some cucumber. We got some cherry or grape tomatoes. So good in the summertime. Then instead of salami, the original recipe calls for salami, I just have some cannellini beans. They work too work with that Italian vibe of this pasta salad. And then we've got some mozzarella cheese. Go ahead and slice this in there too. And then I've got a little bit of pesto, about three quarters of a cup. You could do salad dressing, you could make your own pesto, but because this is my fast, easy dinner, I'm making it really easy on myself. I love how pasta salads are just such an easy way to use up all the fresh summer produce that you have on hand. So check out my dinner that hardly took any time at all. I have my Italian pasta salad with the pesto, cut up fruit and veggies, crackers and a really easy dip. So there you go. Meal planning does not have to be something that you spend all weekend on. Just find a few recipes with overlapping ingredients and some extra time to get a head start on tomorrow, especially during those warm summer nights so you can get outside and enjoy your meal.